Hold on to your Sunday plans, because something huge is brewing, and you need to know before the clock strikes 11 p.m. Brace yourselves, because someone out there has got a major crush on you, and it's more than just a passing fancy. There's a whole story waiting to unfold, and you won't want to miss the details. Get ready for a revelation that could change the game. Open this message before the clock runs out. This isn't just a video. It's a call that demands your immediate attention. The secrets unveiled here hold the power to elevate your life and your loved one. Do not deny yourself this chance. The choice is clear watch now and seize the opportunity before the profound truths slip through your fingers. Your destiny is calling and the time to answer is now. But before that, you've committed a grave mistake marked by the disapproval of the Lord. Pay close attention to this warning and divine suggestion before plunging into crucial matters. If you're watching this video today, your guardian angels have an important message for you. They want you to know that someone out there really likes you a lot. Imagine the universe conspiring to bring love and positivity into your life. It's 11 p.m. on a Sunday, and you're here, ready to receive God's message of love and guidance. Type 1111 to claim it. Close your eyes for a moment and take a deep breath. Feel the love and warmth surrounding you. You are not alone, the divine energy is with you. Today's message is a reminder that you are cherished, valued, and someone has a deep affection for you. It might be a friend, a family member, or even a romantic interest. The universe is orchestrating beautiful connections and relationships for you. Picture this, there's someone thinking about you right now, smiling because of the joy you bring into their life. Maybe you've been feeling a bit lonely or unappreciated lately, but the angels want you to know that you are truly special. You are deserving of love and happiness, and it's on its way to you. As you navigate through your journey, remember that love comes in various forms. It's not just about romantic love, it's about the love of friends, family, and the love you have for yourself. Embrace all the different facets of love, and you'll find that your life becomes richer and more fulfilling. Type 222 if you believe. Now, let's talk about guidance. The angels want you to trust the process of life. You may have been facing challenges or uncertainties, but everything is unfolding as it should. Trust the divine plan, even when things seem unclear. Your angels are guiding you, and they have your best interests at heart. Take a moment to reflect on your dreams and aspirations. What do you truly desire in life? Your angels encourage you to pursue those dreams with passion and determination. Remember, you have the power to create the life you want. The universe is ready to support you, all you need to do is believe in yourself. As the clock approaches 11 p.m. on this Sunday, feel the energy shift. It's a time of reflection and connection with the Divine. The angels are surrounding you with love and light, creating a sacred space for you to receive their guidance. You may want to take a moment to express gratitude for the blessings in your life, both big and small. Now, let's address the topic of self-love. God's message for you today includes a gentle reminder to love and care for yourself. You are a unique and magnificent being, worthy of love and respect. Treat yourself with kindness, just as you would treat a dear friend. Take a moment tonight to do something that brings you joy and relaxation. As the night unfolds, the angels want you to release any worries or fears that may be weighing on your heart. Surrender them to the Divine, knowing that you are supported and protected. Trust that the universe is working in your favor, and miracles are on the horizon. Subscribe to our channel if you love God. Feel the love and positive energy flowing through this message. It's not just words, it's a divine transmission of love and guidance tailored specifically for you. The angels are encouraging you to open your heart to the possibilities that await you. 
Love is a powerful force, and it has the ability to transform your life in incredible ways. As we approach the end of this message, take a moment to bask in the love that surrounds you. You are a beloved child of the universe, and you are never alone. The angels are always by your side, guiding you, supporting you, and showering you with love. As we draw near the end of our time together, let's take a moment to reflect on the power of love and the guidance you've received. Love is not just a fleeting emotion, it's a force that binds us all. It's a reminder that we are interconnected, and our actions have a ripple effect on the world around us. Type 777 if you already believe. Consider the people in your life who have shown you love and support. Perhaps there's a friend who always knows how to make you smile, a family member who stands by your side no matter what, or a romantic interest who sees the beauty within you. Take a moment to express gratitude for these connections, for they are a reflection of the divine love that surrounds you. Now, let's talk about the power of self-love. It's easy to get caught up in the busyness of life and forget to prioritize our own well-being. The angels want to emphasize the importance of taking care of yourself, both physically and emotionally. Make a commitment to practice self-care regularly, whether it's through meditation, a relaxing bath, or simply taking a moment to appreciate your own accomplishments. As the night progresses, you may find yourself contemplating the future. The angels encourage you to dream big and set intentions for the life you want to create. Remember that you are a co-creator of your reality, and the universe is ready to support your aspirations. Visualize your dreams coming to fruition, and trust that the divine is working behind the scenes to manifest them. Type 333 if you trust angels. As you navigate through the coming days and weeks, keep the energy of this message close to your heart. Whenever you encounter challenges or doubts, return to the feeling of love and guidance that has been shared with you tonight. You have a team of angels cheering you on, and you are never alone on this journey. Now, let's take a moment to send out positive energy to the world. Imagine a wave of love spreading across the globe, touching the hearts of everyone it reaches. In your mind's eye, see people coming together in kindness and understanding. Visualize a world where love triumphs over fear, and compassion prevails. Type 555 if you trust Jesus. In the comments section below, feel free to share your thoughts, experiences, or any insights that this message has sparked within you. Let's create a virtual community of love and support where we can uplift one another. Your words may inspire someone else who needs a reminder of the love and guidance available to them. As we approach the conclusion of this divine conversation, remember that you are a beacon of light in the world. Your presence matters, and the love you share has a profound impact. Carry the energy of this message with you and let it guide you on your journey. Thank you for being a part of this sacred moment. May the love and guidance of the angels continue to illuminate your path. Until we meet again, stay blessed, stay loving, and may your life be filled with divine miracles. Good night, and may your dreams be touched by the beauty of the divine. Show your support by giving super thanks up to $20. Type 444 to claim this message and the blessings inside for your own. An important message is waiting for you in the next video, where you'll hear it. My dearest child, as you stand at the crossroads of life, facing the intersections and decisions that shape your journey, I want to envelop you in the warmth of my love and assurance. Life's journey is an intricate tapestry, woven with both moments of joyous triumphs and challenges that stretch the fabric of your faith. In those critical moments, when the weight of decisions presses upon you, remember that you are not alone. I am here, walking beside you, guiding your steps with a tenderness only a father can provide. The choices you make, both big and small, matter to me, and I am intricately involved in every detail of your life. 
Embrace the truth that each decision is a step forward in our journey together. Your heart's desire to seek my will is a melody that resonates in the depths of my being. Even when the path seems unclear, trust that I am orchestrating a beautiful symphony of purpose from the notes of your life. It's okay not to have a perfect roadmap, for it is within the imperfections that my grace shines brightest. Your faith, the gentle whispers of your prayers, and the wisdom sought from my word are the threads that stitch the fabric of your story. Know that even in your missteps, I am working behind the scenes to turn them into stepping stones toward a purposeful destination. In moments of uncertainty, find comfort in the knowledge that I am not just a distant observer, but an active participant in your journey. Your choices, when made with a heart surrendered to me, become a testament to the depth of our relationship. You are not navigating this journey alone, I am your constant companion, offering guidance, comfort and unwavering support. As you navigate the crossroads, don't be afraid to step boldly, for I have equipped you with the strength and resilience to face whatever lies ahead. Your story, written in collaboration with me, is a narrative of courage, growth and the transformative power of faith. Look back at your life's chapters and you will see how even in moments of confusion, I have turned them into chapters of triumph. Your journey, though marked by choices and challenges, is a journey of grace, redemption and the unending love I have for you. So, my cherished one, embrace the unknown with confidence. Your journey is a grand adventure and I am not just leading you but delighting in each step you take. Your faith is the melody and I am orchestrating a symphony of purpose that resonates with the divine harmony of our shared story. Walk on, knowing that the best is yet to come, and I am with you every step of the way. Beloved child, heed these words, for they resonate from the very essence of your divine Father's heart. You find yourself at a pivotal juncture, not due to the external forces that assail you, but because of the sovereign power within you. The impediment to your desired destination lies not in the challenges or opposition you face, but in the narratives you weave within your being. You are the architect of your destiny, and it is time to dismantle the illusions you've crafted, the excuses that veil your true potential. Look within, and you will recognize the genesis of your current state. The whispers of weariness, the cries of fatigue, and the tales of inadequacy are but concoctions of a self-imposed prison. Today, divine empowerment flows through you as you cast aside the veil of deception, Acknowledge that the path of least resistance is a fleeting comfort, providing warmth but birthing long-term tribulations. Embrace the notion that your life, your pursuits, your aspirations will attain a sublime sweetness when treaded upon the arduous path, the path you inherently know you're capable of navigating with unwavering resolve. Rise above the feeble musings that haunt your mind during moments of lethargy or despair. Silence them with a resounding declaration that you are the master of your thoughts. Banish the feeble and usher in the vision of triumph that accompanies the completion of each task. Recognize that within the execution of your mission, you are not merely accomplishing tasks, but sculpting an unyielding belief in yourself, your purpose, and your divine mission on this earthly realm. That inner voice, the bearer of doubts and whispers of defeat, is a cunning deceiver. Rebuke it with the assertiveness of a true warrior, proclaiming not today, for I am the master of my destiny. Understand that your comfort zone is a clandestine labyrinth, concealing dreams that wither away in its stagnant air. Embrace the discomfort, for within it, greatness is conceived, legends are forged, and your true potential unfolds. As you embark on this transformative journey, set goals that stretch the very fabric of your existence goals, that induce discomfort yet propel you toward unprecedented heights. Cultivate routines that demand disciplined action, making the execution of these habits non-negotiable. Pledge an unwavering commitment to your dreams and aspirations, awakening each day with the hunger of one who has yet to taste success. In this pursuit, eschew the allure of excuses and the siren call of momentary ease. Recognize that the decisions you make today, every single day, mold and redefine the tapestry of your being. You are not destined to be confined by your current state, you possess the power to shape and reshape, to evolve and transcend. Discipline is your ally, and within it, the crucible of transformation awaits. Suffocate the excuses that linger and embark on a relentless journey of self-discovery. Resolve to take control 
but the only impediment standing in your way is you. The culmination of your dreams and aspirations lies not in a distant tomorrow, but in the actions you take today. Lay aside the shackles of indecision, unfurl the wings of discipline, and soar into the realms of your true potential. You are not a victim of circumstance. You are the orchestrator of your destiny. In the crucible of challenges, in the face of adversity, you can emerge victorious. Embrace the hardships, for within them, your resilience is forged. Remember, the journey toward your aspirations is not for the faint-hearted. It demands fortitude, a willingness to endure, and an unyielding spirit. You are not alone, the Divine Father's guidance intertwines with your efforts. You can win, not despite the circumstances, but because of the indomitable spirit within you. Release the grip of excuses, cease the incessant complaints, and catapult yourself beyond the limitations of your own will. Harness the strength within, for you possess the power to emerge victorious. This is your clarion call, a summons to rise above the mundane and step into the realm of your greatness. The time for strength is now, and through this strength, through your unyielding will, you shall become the embodiment of your deepest desires. Here comes the message Father is talking about, and after that, a prayer and some divine wisdom to save yourself from any unforeseen event. My beloved child, today you radiate with joy and happiness, and you are about to receive grace from kind-hearted souls who will share their own blessings with you. I urge you to proclaim to everyone who strengthens you and loves you deeply. Speak with confidence, and from your lips shall flow words of life and hope. You shall never stray far from me, never lose sight of this sign, that I have given you the forgiveness of your sins, made possible by my shed blood, which cleanses you and grants you eternal life. I shall delight in being your father, and you shall revel in the gifts and wonders bestowed upon you. By me your descendants shall be blessed and numerous like the grains of sand by the sea. Know that I remain the same, the one who loved you and gazed upon you with mercy yesterday, who loves you more with each passing day. Your future rests in my hands, but I require your faith. I implore you not to ignore this message. Do not underestimate this medium through which I speak. I have chosen humble-hearted individuals to bring you my word and proclaim it to the world. These three beautiful and divine words, God is good. I was, am, and forever shall be your dearest love and kindness. I am good because I am also the author and creator of faith. With my hands, I signaled the creation of the universe, and with my wisdom, I established the boundaries of the stars, the galaxies, and all the elements necessary for your existence you were formed from dust, and one day your earthly body shall return to dust, while your spirit patiently awaits by my side for the appointed time. I shall transform your dust-made body into a holy, eternal, indestructible one. Everything in your life has a purpose. You are my greatest treasure and in my hands. I loved you when you were distant and I shall continue to love you despite any mistakes. I remain the same yesterday, today, and for all eternity, my mind does not waver. I personally sought you when you felt disappointed and sought an easy way out of your pain. I showed you that life and peace are not behind a false facade. You must persevere through the process, face suffering, and place your faith in my word. Walk without faltering, holding my hand so you may reach the long-desired freedom and triumph. Reclaim the conviction that you are a person of great worth. I witnessed your tears and wept alongside you as a true friend, so you would feel safe and choose to keep fighting. Because I fight alongside you, I assist you when you ask, and I fight for you when you are weary. My heavenly army stands guard around you when you feel exhausted dot a tea times. You do not even realize the countless things I have saved you from. I will open your eyes to the supernatural world 
so you can witness my warrior angels fighting fierce battles to protect you. I have saved you from deadly accidents, halted disease at your doorstep, confused the intentions of criminals and thieves, and rebuked the enemy of your soul when it sought to devour you. I reaffirm my love for you, remind you that no matter what happens, you are still under my shelter and love. But with affection, I also ask that you no longer be troubled or filled with fear when problems arise that you told me that you would trust me and not react to what people are saying. Know that I have surrounded you with my arms and no threats or lies from others can harm you. There are levels of faith, maturity and wisdom and you are at the highest where I have placed you. Higher up where you are, disputes and provocations cannot touch you. They seek your reaction, aiming to steal your inner peace. They know that if they succeed, your thoughts will run wild, uncontrollable, and you may harm those in your path. Therefore, I urge you to accept my peace. It is merely a matter of faith, of taking time in silence. Wherever you are, speak my word in your thoughts or aloud. The power of my promises will break your chains and I will remove from you the bad habit of getting nervous and worried about any lies you hear. Even if they were true, you should not lose your peace. When bad news comes, you shall face it with strength and your head held high. I have spoken to your soul and given you the assurance that I will always be with you. Those who attack you believe that no one is protecting you and that their words can harm you but do not believe them. Do not allow their lies to occupy your mind and heart. I will give you the strength to overcome these enemies, and even if you make mistakes, I will always listen with affection to your repentant heart. Believe me in this as well. If you distance yourself from error and those harmful acquaintances, you will truly be happy and highly blessed. Of choice, whom do you want to believe? I have asked you this many times, and I know you are human. But now understand that I am God. You bring the faith, and I possess the power. You may be weak at times, and I wish to assist you always. I have safeguarded your family from dire situations, and will continue to protect them. But I want you and your entire household to seek me. Believe in my word and receive the complete blessing of my holy promises. Speak to them, please, and let them know that I am aware of their lives and have a special plan that must be fulfilled. Tell them not to feel bad or become sad if they think they have lost something a material possession, a friend, a job, or their plans that fell apart. Repeat these words to them. Everything happens for a reason. Our beloved God is in control. In the end, even things that seem negative will work in our favor. Seek me every day. Give thanks in all circumstances, both good and bad, and believe me when I say this, marvelous miracles will happen when your hearts are filled with praise. Deliver my message to them. Tell them not to worry, that everything will be fine. A time of great blessings is coming for your family, and you dot, you have kept the faith, and you stand strong. I am ready to bless you. You are well prepared to receive all that I have prepared for you. I also want your troubled times to be left behind and for you to cast aside the feeling of being a failure. Let me declare something to you. None of my sons and daughters is a failure, and you will never be one. I love you, I care for you, I prepare you and I correct you. If you fall, you rise, if you make mistakes, you confess, and I forgive you with patience and love. You stand up, shake off the dust, and continue with your faith in my word and your eyes fixed on the goal. My daughters and sons make mistakes, but they persist the humility and ability to acknowledge their faults. 
receive my forgiveness and leave behind all feelings of defeat and guilt dot you have never been a failure. The enemy knows how you feel and has taken advantage to steal from you and to harm you. But everything that was stolen from you shall return. I want you to become accustomed to living a life of emotional freedom. Stop blaming yourself for past events and do not punish yourself by denying the opportunity to succeed. I want you to keep growing in your faith and learn to depend more on me. I will instruct you to do things that may seem impossible to you. Understand, my child, that I have chosen you to be a channel of blessing to all those you love. Step into the abundant embrace of my presence that surrounds you like a warm, comforting blanket. Begin with the melody of praise, allowing it to rise until it becomes a symphony of worship. In the cadence of your worship, the glory will unfurl stand, dear one. Stand in the glorious light that emanates from my heart. Know this, my cherished one, my plans for you are unwavering, and I have not altered the course set for your life. Picture me standing and waiting, ready to pour out blessings that match the depth of your praise and the fervor of your worship. You're about to witness what others have only dreamed of seeing. The high places of my presence are to be your dwelling, not just a fleeting visitation. Do not settle for occasional glimpses. Embrace the glorious dwelling I have prepared for you. Shake off any hesitation, sweet child. Take control of your emotions, focus your thoughts, and let every fiber of your being magnify praise and worship. In this abandoned heart, you will witness the extraordinary unfold. You are the one chosen and dearly loved. I appoint you as the apple of my eye, drawing you close into my unyielding protection, lavish provision and divine purpose like never before. Hear me, for today is a new dawn and a fresh pathway has unveiled itself before you. Embrace it with anticipation, knowing that this new way has found you. Rejoice, for I am with you every step, and your journey is marked by promises fulfilled and assurances that stand unshakable. You are cherished, guided, and destined for greatness. Trust in this, for I choose you, and in my choosing, you find immeasurable joy and boundless purpose. However, I want you to be cautious about what enters your ears and what your eyes see. I want my word to take precedence. Nourish yourself in it. Immerse yourself in my Holy Spirit, whether by reading, listening, speaking, writing, or singing. Whatever I inspire you to do, do it in spirit and in truth. Learn to manage it. I will bestow great blessings upon you but you must care for them. I will not lift you up so you feel overly important and become conceited. The authority I will grant you, if you want my blessings to multiply, must be used with humility. Do not allow gossip or slander against anyone. Never raise your hand or soil your tongue to harm those who esteem, help or provide you with employment through which you earn your bread Put your effort into working, serving, and being a blessing to those around you, your family, and to others. I have chosen you to bear fruit, to go where I send you, to let prosperity and blessing flow in your household. I have come to speak to you as a friend. If you want to see a change in your life, you must decide to obey me and walk with me. Tell me that you will. You are entering a new stage, and if you want, you will succeed. I have chosen you to be a warrior, to bring your family forward, to lead you from victory to victory, to for my presence to accompany you in all your triumphs, from glory to glory through your praise. My dear child, I love you, champion of champions. I will bless you. I did not make a mistake when I chose you. 
I know what I'm doing because I want you to understand how much I love you. Together with my servants, you shall return to this earth to confront the armies of darkness. Prepare yourself, for one day you shall reign alongside me. But until that day comes, never cease to pray, seek me relentlessly. I desire your commitment to fulfill my will. Tell me now, in your own words, that you will always love me. Amen. Curious to discover more life-changing insights like these? Then dive right into our next video. It's a journey you won't want to miss. Click on the video and let's keep the universal's wisdom flowing.